Hello guys, today I will show you how to increase your FPS on Escape from Tarkov on a low-end PC. Starting with the BSG launcher on a game settings, we're gonna clear the cache. We hit again, logs, delete. Those things pile up and will make the game run slower. Going to the settings, okay? So on the settings, on the game, on the FOV, I have it on 65. You can have it on 75 if you want, but probably the 65 is the sweet spot. And because uh, having it increased, you have you will see more on your screen, but also it will eat some of your FPS. On the graphic side, on the screen mode, you have to have it on full screen because if you have it on borderless or on a windowed, you will have less FPS. So have it on full screen. Moving on, texture quality low because we are on a low NPC. Shadows, low. Object LOD quality, 2. Overall visibility, 400. To have it as low as possible, to increase the FPS. Anti-aliasing, I have it on TAA, but for maximum FPS increase, you can have it on off or on FXAA, but the game won't look that smooth. If you want more FPS, off or FXAA, and if you want your game to look a little bit better and have some FPS, you can go on TAA, but I recommend you to have it on off or on FXAA. The rest on off, NVIDIA Reflex, low latency, on plus boost, sharpness, 0.5, it doesn't really affect or it anything, it's just personal preference. Down here, we're gonna check Streets of Tarkov Low Texture Resolution Mode. Most effects, I recommend you to have them disabled and use the NVIDIA control panel to uh, set the brightness, saturation and clarity because these also hit some FPS. These are the sound settings, these are the control settings, I don't know if you really need them, I'll just show you to you. Mouse sensitivity 1.1, mouse gaming, aiming, mouse sensitivity aiming 1.1. Okay. Moving on, MSI afterburner, you're gonna click OC. You're gonna hit scan, you're gonna wait for 10 to 15 minutes for it to gather the information. It will overclock your CPU and it, this will help you with the FPS in the game. Next thing that I recommend you to do is on the CPU to overclock it if you have the possibility to. Uh, for me, it helps. Uh, but you do this only after you do your research and also if you have a good cooling for your CPU because overclocking it will put a lot of stress on your uh, CPU and it will heat up but if you have a good cooling for the CPU you're like safe but also like I said do your research before you overclock your CPU that's it hope it helps let me know in the comments drop a like drop a sub and I'll see you guys in the next one.